Gen Z's and their work ethics have been trending on social media over the last few weeks. A lot of funny memes, some heated debates about their unruly generation, and some admiration for their self-awareness and the difference they bring to the workplace. This is what we're going to be discussing in today's presentation. In 1995, the baby boomers were ruling the workplace, 80 million of them trying to navigate their way to the top. The Gen X showed up and the baby boomers thought they would act just like them. Unfortunately, that backfired, leading to generational peculiarities at the workplace. First, we had the traditionalists generation. These were born before the years 1960, 46. Then came the baby boomers born between the years 1946 and 1964. Then came my dad's generation, Gen X, born between the years 1965 and 1979. Then there were the millennials born between the years 1980 and 1994. And now we have the Gen Z's born between the year 1995 to date. To 2012. Now we know the various generations. Can you take a minute to think about which generation do you belong in? You could shout it out, you could write it in the chat box. Which of these generations do you belong in to? To understand the Gen Z's, you need to understand what shaped them. They were shaped by things like the economy, politics, the rise of technology, and so many others. So clearly, they had their own events and conditions that were different from other generations. They had unique challenges. In getting to know the Gen Z employee, we need to go way beyond the best years and their ages and truly understand the events and conditions that shape them to be the way they are. Things like the economy, the internet of things, social media, to mention a few. This play a high role in their life and behavior. The conversation millennials were having during their formative years was really exciting. A lot of businesses started and overnight became a huge success. There was economic prosperity. They had boomer parents telling them that they can do anything they wanted to be. A lot different from the conversations that Gen Z's had. Gen Z's had conversations during their formative years that were tailored around recession. Most of their parents' net worth fell as low as 45%. So it was much scarier conversation that this generation experienced in their formative years. For previous generations, at the early stage of their careers, they looked for jobs in the newspapers. We now have a generation that have access to endless information. With a simple click of a button, you can access any job anywhere at any time to find it. There were also various generations, parenting styles. Baby boomers were raised by millennial children that is known as the self-esteem movement, a lot different from what Gen Z's were raised. Gen Z's were raised with the notion of the winners and losers, and they became more competitive. Unlike other generations, Gen Z's are known for not always following the rules. Now, other generations will need to understand that they are not going out of their ways to be rebellious, but rather they need to explain why. What was the reason and logic behind the decisions or rules that are put in place part time? For example, we know that Gen Z's are the emojis generation. It may look like a no brainer why emojis should not be used in corporate communication, but that is not a no brainer perspective to Gen Z's. A Gen Z can see it as making communication fun and not see that emojis can cause ambiguity. Given what we have heard about Gen Z's communication styles, I want to ask a question and I would really appreciate feedback. What type of communication style do you think Gen Z's like? Do they prefer texting, talking on the phones, face-to-face -face communication? So this is time for us to please answer. We can shout it out, we could text it. What type of communication styles do you think Gen Z's like? So texting, as some of us may have assumed, is not the best way of communicating to Gen Z's. However, 84% of Gen Z's that were surveyed by recent research shows that Gen Z's prefer face-to-face -face communication. Now, this face-to-face -face communication could either be virtual or physical. 
Gen Z's enjoy different perspectives, different alternatives to choices they make. A Gen Z can come and tell you that they don't want to go to the university. With these Gen Z's, they have more open-minded responses. Society is more aware that different alternatives are profitable. No, not everybody needs to go to the work to go to the university to succeed. We have YouTubers, bloggers making well in their career, regardless of the generation we fall into. Some things remain the same. Things like our values, good character, integrity and excellence. Whether you work for a huge conglomerate or you represent a brand unique to yourself, your values will always stand you out and distinguish you. So you need to sit back and think, what is your value? And regardless of your, the corporation you work in, in, you need to learn effective work ethics. Together, we would, this will help you achieve greater things and make you stand out. Hopefully we have learned a thing or two about the various generations and which will help us be more cooperative at the workplace. Thank you.